Welcome to the Magoosh IELTS podcast. This is lesson six. In this episode, you're going to hear dialogue containing the vocabulary words that your teacher, Elliot, defined in vocabulary lesson one. These are four words all related to information. Interpret, assume, perceive, and react. If you haven't listened to episode one yet, you might want to listen to that first so that you know the definitions of these words. I'll put a link in the show notes. Also check out the show notes to get your free download, the IELTS vocabulary list, which contains these words and others that you'll find on the test. Plus, visit IELTS.magoosh.com for more great resources to improve your IELTS band score. Okay, let's get started. Listen to this dialogue between Jerome and Maria as they talk about Maria's recent date. See if you can pick out the four IELTS vocabulary words as you listen. Hey Maria, how was your date? Seriously, tell me everything. Oh, wow. Jerome, it was so good. It was really good. That's great. I'm so happy for you. I want the whole story. Well, we just went out to a bar and had a few drinks and then got dinner at that kebab place downtown that you and I went to the other night. And then he had to go home. But he was really great. A lot better than I thought he would be. I'm so glad that it went well. Are you going to go out with him again? And uh, remind me of his name? His name is Tom. But, yeah, I don't think we're going to go out again. What? Why not? You just said it was really good. Well, I did have a great time, but I'm always going out with these guys who aren't looking for anything serious. Maybe that's my type. Anyways, I always assume I can change them, but really, I can't change them. I shouldn't even be trying to change them in the first place. And I need to stop chasing people who don't want what I want. I need to stop ignoring all the red flags. So you think he's not looking for anything serious? Yeah. What did he do to make you react that way? He was just really charming. I'm sure it's easy for him to get dates, so why would he want to settle down with just one person? And it also seems like he works a lot. He probably doesn't have time for a proper relationship. Did he say he wasn't looking for anything serious? Not really. He just seems like that type of guy. Huh. Well, I definitely agree that you shouldn't try to force a relationship with someone who doesn't want to be in one. But it also doesn't sound like you have a lot of information about how he feels. You shouldn't assume that he's not looking for anything serious either. That is, unless he's actually told you so, of course. Maybe. Still, I got the feeling that he was trying to keep things casual. But how did you perceive that, besides the fact that he was charming? Well, he told me that he couldn't stay out too late because he had to get up early for work in the morning. That seems like a normal way to react to a Sunday night date. It's pretty reasonable to want to get enough sleep if you have work in the morning. What's making you interpret the fact that he wanted to go to bed early to mean that he's trying to keep things casual? I just think that if he was having a good time, he wouldn't have minded missing a little sleep. I don't know. Some people are really serious about their work. I don't think that means that he doesn't want to spend time with you. Have you heard from him since yesterday? Before we find out whether Maria has heard from her date, let's pause for a word from Magoosh. Thanks, Naomi. Do you want a great IELTS score? Well, guess what? Magoosh can help. Here's how. We have in-depth video lessons that cover IELTS concepts, pitfalls, and shortcuts, over 200 practice questions to help you prepare, 24-7 email access to a team of smart and fun remote tutors ready to answer your questions. So, are you ready to improve your score and get into your dream program? Great! We're ready to help. Visit us at ielts.magoosh.com. That is I-E-L-T-S dot M-A-G-O-O-S-H dot com. Use coupon code IELTSPODCAST That's one word, no spaces, to save 20% off your IELTS test prep. That's it. All right, now back to the story. Have you heard from him since yesterday? No, nothing yet.
Yeah, OK. Well, I think it's good that you're not getting your hopes up. Obviously, you perceive something in the way he was acting that made you feel like he's not super interested in you. But from what you've told me about your date so far, I wouldn't necessarily interpret any of that stuff to mean that he doesn't want to see you again. Maybe you're right. I did have a lot of fun, and I think he had a good time too. I just don't know how to react when someone shows an interest in me. Because even if they do really like me, that doesn't mean they will want to make it an ongoing thing. Well, you did just meet each other. I wouldn't worry about all of that too much yet. All I'm saying is, don't assume that he doesn't want to see you again. Give it a little time. Or at least wait until you have a bit more information. Ah. What? He just texted me. What did he say? He said, I was so tired at work today. And then a smiley face. Wow, I can't believe he just texted you. Speak of the devil. <laughs> yeah, so what does it mean? Hmm, I'm not sure how exactly to interpret that text. Like, it's bad that he was tired, but obviously a smiley face is good. So maybe that means he didn't mind being tired because he had a good time last night? I don't know. Whatever he's trying to say, it's definitely good that he texted you. Are you going to respond? Yeah, I might wait a little while though. I'm not sure what the best thing to say is. How would you react to a text like this? I'll have to think about it. But, yeah, wait a while. If you answer immediately, he might perceive you to be someone who's just waiting by their phone all day. Yeah, you're right. Hey, I'm getting kind of hungry. Do you want to help me make some lunch? And then afterwards we can figure out what I should do? Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. It's hard to think on an empty stomach. I have stuff to make ham sandwiches. Does that sound good to you? Yeah, definitely. Let's do it. It won't hurt Tom to wait a little while. <laughs> Keeping him guessing. That would make two of us. So, what did you think? If you need more practice, check out the description below with links to the resources we mentioned. Happy studying!